So first, let's hey, let's uh, give Rob you, you, your turn. Oh, thank, you thank you guys. And then Shannon is going to take the mic, and we're we're almost done here for those of us that are cold. Have a good huh? And then we're going to have Bobby and um, Barcy Billy and Sean close us out today. I was just going to have Bobby and Sean come up now and kind of not do this story, but I had about three people come up and ask me about the otter. So I'm going to go ahead and read this really quickly because I know people here are getting cold. You've been standing up and so appreciated. Um, and Bobby, right after I finish, and Sean will offer the um, message that we need to leave with. Let me just read this quickly and I forget it. Historic massacre of Fort Drum Creek in Os Osceola County, Florida, September 11, 2016. The sounds of machines looking like giant monsters uh, from someplace other than Earth lined up in rows, giant trees falling, land being pushed aside, wetlands trampled upon, and more is what I saw on September 12, 2016. Bobby C. Bray, with the Council of the Original Miccosukee Seminole Nation Aboriginal People, had been to Fort Drum Creek on 9-11-16 and came and told me that someone was killing the future of life, of all life, on Aboriginal, Indigenous, sacred, holy lands and waters. And this was the 9-11 of the natural world. The terrorists had come upon his sacred, holy land and waters. They were killing everything. He was right. Everything in the pathway of the giant machines was being gobbled up and taken away to clear away for a frack gas pipeline. They spared no tree, no plant, no animal. All was being heartlessly slaughtered. I was angered and felt the huge loss of so much so quick. How could this be happening? Where was the protection that we so foolishly expected? Where was my government who promised to, to, to prevent such a massive attack on these precious natural areas, natural systems, and wildlife? In the days ahead, keeping a watchful, tearful eye on Fort Drum Creek and reporting to the Florida Department of Environmental Protection many, many, many violations by the destroyers. Rockford Corporation from Oregon, a contractor, for the Florida Southeast Connection Project. I now today understand there will be no actions taken by Rockford Corporation or Florida Southeast Connection, even though they are violating the Florida Department of Environmental Protection Permit. I did not go to Fort Drum Creek today as my whole being is feeling the shattering experience of the horrific massacre of Fort Drum Creek. and the intentional, intentional murdering of innocent otters that once called Fort Drum Creek their home. They were not even given a chance to leave before the giant bucket of one of the giant machine monsters smashed them and left them lifeless, and their lifeless bodies were thrown into the wetland area alongside of the creek. Early in September, another otter swam aimlessly in the creek as if she or he was frantically looking for someone while machines plunged down towards him or her. I lost track of him or her in the muddy waters and saw the lifeless body on the bank of the creek the following day. Where is the protection? Where is the heart of those that so easily demolish such playful creatures? Who gave them the right to take away their lives? Who gave them the right to viciously slaughter trees in the creek and alongside the creek and along the road that have stood there for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years? Who gave them the right to alter the water flow and destroy and dewater the wetlands? They say it will be returned to pre-construction conditions, a statement that is totally false. None of the nature that has been dem demolished will ever be the same. The trees and the otters are gone forever. 
What is left is a pipe in the belly of the creek with sandbags and eco bags piled on top of the pipe, pipe and the water currently going west to east instead of south to north. Yes, this is indeed, as Bobby C. Bailey described it, the 9-11 of the natural world, the historic massacre of Fort Drum Creek. And I'm going to stop there. Um, to go ahead and uh, give us the message we need to go home with and a prayer. I, I guess Sean will be doing the prayer. Is that right, Bobby? Okay. So if you want to hear, uh, Bobby does not like to use the mic. Come along in front of him so he can hear. Let's see.